We've been coming to this site for a long time. Parents brought us out when we were <laughs> infants, right? The story kind of goes that we were both placed in the cradle. You were, not me. I was placed you in were. the cradle. Right? I've never been a namesake, so <laughs> I'm just Tom. <laughs> uh, he's bitter. It's never been substantiated that mom actually got me laid down in that cradle. But our grandfather, James Rudolph Garfield, great-grandson to the president, he really made it so the family was here a lot and supported the house. We always didn't know why we were coming out. We were kids. Right. But when we were in college, it was so important because I got to really know my grandfather. We worked for him. Grandpa was semi-retired. <laughs> semi-retired. He volunteered to be here every day. We were cutting that grass. And the whole property we cut with... A walk behind. <laughs> craftsman, 21-inch deck mowers. And in between there, somehow, we always got roped in to giving a tour. Sure. Because back then, the house was a self-guided tour. Right. And somebody would always say, hey, are there family members uh, still right. hanging around? Yeah, it's that guy doing the push mower. Yeah. <laughs> you see that guy right there? <laughs> they happen to be uh, family members. Well, right. Why are they still cutting the grass? Well, it's their house. <laughs> That's when we learned a lot, I think. A ton. You know, We got to hear stories about this place and growing up next door and the story that he and his brothers painted the bust in the library of the president blue, <laughs> <laughs> unsubstantiated again. Right, right. He would be beside himself on what the National Park Service has done for the site and how the family has taken part of what's going on here. He would be beside himself with joy. And he would be very disappointed if we weren't involved. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be no question. Yeah. You better be there. <laughs> Thank you.